Which is the best of the Whiskey Row series? Let's get into it. Hello, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to Brad's Bourbon Reviews. I'm Brad, and today, as you can see, I have the entire, as of the date of this recording, Whiskey Row series. If you're watching this in the future and something else has come out, obviously, I, 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 I'm not a time traveler. So I have what I have in front of me to go through, and we're going to blind these and see which one is the best. And so if you aren't aware... The Whiskey Row series is a collection from Old Forester, and it's supposed to like emulate the mash bills and the type of bourbon that was produced in the year that it was made, right? Starting with 1870, then 1897, 1910, 1920, and then most recent release is Old Forester 1924. And I'm a big fan of the entire lineup. Uh, if you if you had to ask me what's my favorite of them, like if you just, without doing a blind, I would say either the 1920 or the 1897. I just recently became aware of how good this bottle is and I'm like obsessed with this bottle. So I get like a really predominant green apple note on this one and I just love this one. I think this is one of, 1920 is one of the best bottles on the market for the price. Same with the 1897, I adore it. So going into this, I think those would be the ones that would stand out to me. I would also assume that the 1920 would stand out because it's such a higher proof than the other ones. But they all wander around the same proof. The lowest one is 90 the highest is 115 so and there's not anything here that's going to stand out like super crazy like if, if you had a bunch of 90 pr things and you put a stag in there like you would know that that's that one so i think this is a fair lineup the whiskey row series is absolutely fantastic old forester just knows how to make damn good bourbon and i'm excited to do this so i'm going to walk away holly's going to come in here and i'm going to fast forward through this so you don't have to because i'm going to come in and i'm going to see which one comes out on top All right, and I'm back. I got all of them here, as you can see. I'm trying to make it look nice on camera here. Uh, kind of get them there. But I got some feedback that people wanted to actually see what I was drinking, which I think is fair. So I'm gonna start, Holly, from my left. Holly's still in the room, she's in here chilling. I'm gonna start from my right to the left. So I'm starting here over this way, just so you are aware, Holly. So let's go ahead and get into what I'm calling number one. A lot of this might be fast forwarded, and then I'll interject when something's interesting. This one smells fantastic. I'm pretty confident I know which one this one is off the jump. Uh, off the jump, I said in the intro that I could pick that out because there's like a green apple note on that. I might, I always say I'm not gonna try to guess and then I try to guess, but I'm pretty sure that's 1897. Uh, there's not a bad pour on this table, I'll be honest with you. The only one that I don't love is the uh, 90 proof one, the 1870, because it just drinks a little hot to me. All right, moving on to number two. Man, that smells really good. Almost like a slight maple note, some brown sugar pretty oaky so drinks really nice a little bit of vanilla on there a lot of vanilla actually no cherry at all just a little bit of vanilla and uh, big fan of that one this one's got a nice color to it as well oh see now that threw me off this one smells more apple than the first one so now I'm thinking this might be the 1897 I've yet to have one that I don't like yet this is a problem old Forester just you know how to do it. you know you know how to do it you're doing it right these all smell way more similar than I remember them smelling. Hmm. It's just throwing me for a loop here. All right, we're on to the last one here, and then I'm going to go through them again. And uh, like I said, a lot, of, a lot of this might be sped up. You might even not even see a lot of it until we get to the conclusion. This one's the first one that I don't love. So I've made one pass through of these. I'm going to go back through and kind of whittle, whittle it down here. Um, this is not as easy as I was thinking it was going to be. This is a little more difficult. Uh, I wouldn't put it past Holly to have poured the same thing into five glasses just to mess with me. That would be funny, but they all, they do smell kind of distinctly different here. So let's so give another pass through here. I'm going to kind of AB compare them. I, I am shocked on the nose. They, they don't stand out as much as I thought they would on the nose. Cause like I thought for sure I'd be able to pick up that 1897. I still may have, but there's like, I'm, I'm torn between it being these two. And also I haven't had a lot of experience with 1924. I don't think I've even tried it since I did the review on it. So that's gonna be throwing me for a loop as well. I don't think it's in the first one. I don't think it, the 1897's in the first one. Okay, this is getting tough here. This is tough. This is real tough. I did not think this was gonna be this difficult. I really thought that the 1910 would stand out. And I, th I think it's this middle one. All right. I'm here's what I do. I'm not going to try to guess which one's which. I'm just going to rank them. All right. 
this is the order it's going to be. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. My, my right is number one. I said number one. That's my first place. What bottle is that? I thought at first it was the 1897, but when I've kept going down, it, it lost. They all kind of blended in together. So they're in the descending crown of large four. So 1920 is my favorite. So 1924, 20, 10, 97. Okay, so that makes more sense. So this is 1920. This is, I'm sorry, this is 1924. This is 1920. This is 1897. No. 24, 20, 10, 87, 9. Okay. So the one I didn't like was the, was the one that I didn't like. I'm actually surprised that 24 came out on top on this one. I have, I think maybe it's just because I haven't had it. And it's like different and unique to me. I've been drinking, sipping on this a lot this weekend. I stand by that order. I think it's good. I am a little shocked 1920, 1920 came in second to last. However, I've had that bottle for like two or three years and it's kind of getting towards the bottom of it. So it could be that like it's had some evaporation loss to it. That would be my guess. Um, but I stand by it. I think I, I'm, sh I'm really shocked that 1924 came out on top because even when I reviewed it, I was like, it's good. I don't think it's like exceptional, but apparently I think it's really good because it came in number, number one here. Um, that was surprising. I'm, I'm very surprised to see that. That is uh, interesting. This is why it's fun to do blinds. I think it's a really, really cool thing to do. And I think you should do them with your friends. Have somebody over, have somebody pour them and have you guys compare and, and not even know what they are. Just kind of pick two, have, the, have them pick a few things off the shelf, ABC, compare them and see what's your favorite. Because I never would in a million years would have thought 1924 would have came out on top on this. And uh, that's kind of cool that it did. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. And apparently Old Force 1924 is the best of the Whiskey Row series. That's awesome. Kind of. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you leave a like down and make sure you leave a like comment down below let me know what do you thank you everyone for watching fuck me that's the end of the video thank you guys for watching i'll see you on the next one until then cheers wait i fucked that up thank you everybody for watching i'll see you on the next i keep doing it i keep doing the, the ending well that's the video thank you guys for watching leave me a comment down below let me know what your favorite of the whiskey row series is while you're down there leave a like and i will see you guys on the next one until then cheers